Hi there, it's me, Andrea. Today I wanted to <laughs> show you some more pocket landers. I just hope <laughs> most of my subscribers won't, uh, you know, get annoyed by my pocket ladder craze right now. Um, because I know you are used to um, a little more mixed media. But um, for me it's kind of I'm just doing what what I'd like to do right now and for me it's kind of always like um, it will rise there are weeks uh, when I enjoy art journaling more there are weeks when I enjoy I don't know drawing painting more there are weeks when I enjoy scrapping or card making more so it's kind of um, a process for me as well so right now I'm into <laughs> pocket letters but actually the one, you know, the one craze or the one um, thing I'm into right now doesn't kind of exclude the other one because um, as you might have seen in my last video that I like to incorporate some mixed media into my pocket letters so it's all kind of um, connected, sort of. So first let me show you the pocket letters that I finished over the last three days I think yeah because I had quite a amount I had to answer or I needed to answer to send back so um, yeah I had like two or three <laughs> pocket letter sessions the last days and I just wanted to share them with you before they will head out because uh, yeah once they're gone they're gone all right <laughs> So I made this one. Just want to give you a short flip through. I hope you'll be able to see something because of the the light reflection. But anyway, so I made two more in a, like a mixed media style with some cute quotes, some transparency sheets, and uh, some three-dimensional objects on here like punch paper punches, punch outs. I haven't done the um, back side, I've filled the back of the pockets yet. Still need to do that. But I just wanted to record this video real quick because I know myself, you know, once I get started to stuff them and tuck them into the envelopes, I know I forget to do a video and then I send them out and um, yeah, then they're gone. <laughs> okay, so another mixed media one, which is kind of similar to this one. Then I made two with this um, turquoise pink color combination. Also some fun quotes, little Polaroids in here, paper punch outs. And I made some fun I'm not sure if you can see that, like shaker pockets where I just sealed the top of the pocket and down here um, so that those cute little confetti flakes don't <laughs> go all over the place. And another one, like a puzzle piece. And then I went really crazy with some Easter themed <laughs> pocket letters. But hey, let's face it, I mean, um, it's like two weeks till Easter now. <clears throat> yeah. And yeah, once Easter is there, I can't do any Easter pocket letters anymore. <laughs> and I just kind of really like Easter themes because I kind of really, you know, Usually I'm not so much into, you know, like this cute and pastel -y and But for Easter I kind of like it. Also like with the home decoration, we have lots of pastel colors right now in our apartment um, for spring and Easter decoration. And this time of year I can really like it and enjoy it. So that's why I went all crazy with Easter and cute and <laughs> pastel made another one of those uh, shaker pockets here and cute little stickers which I um, 
purchased the file on Etsy and then I made my own stickers with my silhouette for those and I'm not sure if you can see that, I'm sure you can't <laughs> but most of them are tiered with some 3D, 3D um, foam pads because I kind of like, um, like it if it has a little more depth in it and a little more dimension so this is the first one and those papers are really cute, they also have a nice back side design and I'm just gonna flip uh, tuck um, some cute little gifts into the bag. I already done that in one of them and yeah, this one. Like my cards, some washi, some tea, some stickers, some sticky notes about me. There goes the letter. So yeah, that's how I will fill them. Also made this cute shaker pocket design up here where I just uh, tucked in two pieces of vellum, printed vellum. Then I just sealed along those lines, added some sticker flakes, not sticker flakes, confetti flakes, <laughs> up here and then I sealed it along the top of the line. And if you don't have like this fuse machine, you can use like, um, um, I use one of those tools, you know, you for like heat burning. Uh, I don't, don't know what it's called. Let me just grab it. Oops, it looks like that. So you can just seal the pockets with that. Just make sure you have a nice sturdy wooden <laughs> underground there because you see all those little dots here and you definitely don't want them on your table. I think. <laughs> but that's pretty cute and gives you lots of possibilities with those pockets. Um, yeah, another Easter one. And another one. One more! I bet you're all born by now. <laughs> Also added some of this cute um, lace here, which I really like. Yeah, and the last one. And those are the ones which will be going out like uh, the next two or three days once I fill them and. Um, got them all ready to send out. And I also wanted to share with you the pocket letters that I got, that I received so far. Um, I have like four or five more um, lying around, not lying around, but which are not in this uh, folder yet because I usually, you know, once the letters arrive here, I leave them in the envelope until I have answered them, until I have sent something back and then I just take them out of the envelope and add them to my folder, okay? So I will not uh, talk a lot about this, I will just do a quick um, flip through. I think I've already showed you this one in another video. And I usually kind of leave, um, <clears throat> leave the bags um, of the back sides, just have to kind of cover that address. Um, I kind of leave the goodies in there for now. I think I will definitely take out those uh, like paper flakes <coughs> and stickers and tea but for now it's all still in there <laughs> because um, I first kind of have to find a system to um, where I will put all those little tiny things that I will take out. Maybe I will do like a, a grab box like this one I'm not sure yet, so for now everything is still in there. This is another one which I really love. I love this color combination, so cute, like this dark turquoise, dark aqua and red airmail theme with some super cute um, paper clips in here. A little tangly charm. Yeah, 
I love this one too, like with this black, silver and turquoise color combination. Super cute too. All those pockets are also nicely stuffed. <laughs> Some letters in the back. And I also kind of leave the letters there. Actually, I leave all the things there that kind of belong to the pocket letter. I just will take out like little embellishments that I might want to reuse. And of course, um, like the tea bags, which I'm gonna drink. And I already took some out and drank some, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, another one, also cute, love the colors with some tea, sticky, sticker notes, stick, sticker notes, stickers, sticky notes, <laughs> washi tape, also beautiful, beautiful color combination. I kind of always really love that surprise when you open a letter and you take it out and sometimes there are color combinations that you would never have thought of using, but it looks so beautiful. And it's always like a big surprise. Love that. <laughs> From my garden, there's some seeds in here, which is also a super cute idea. To have some seeds, some sunflowers, which will go on our balcony. We have some really large um, flower pots on our balcony and I'm gonna put them in there. Another one. Cute birds by Tim Holtz. Love them. Super cute. And another one with a mermaid underwater theme and I really love this one because um, look at all this gorgeous, I'm not sure if you can see that, like embossing powder and flakes and mica flakes on here. So in real it's super super glittery and I love that. And she also like what I think was really cute, um, tucked some like in this top pocket here. To make it look like um, like little underwater bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> Jesus um, did some white little dots on transparency sheet and then just tuck that in above the design, which is super cute. Put in the back we have all those embossing powders and glitter and stuff, which I'm super super looking forward to use for uh, like a couple of projects like this or similar to this one. This is super cute. I was just, <laughs> I was kind of, um, yeah, had a good laugh because when this letter arrived and I, you know, sometimes I have to pick up packages from the customs and, uh, well, not letters actually, but thicker letters or packages. I have to pick them up from customs uh, because they kind of um, want to see what's in there and, um, want to see if it's of any value, if they can make any money <laughs> with it, like the um, customs and the um, VAT and stuff. So um, I thought it would be, have been really funny, <laughs> well maybe not funny, but uh, if, you, if I would have picked it up from the customs um, and they would have opened it like with those um, <laughs> little, uh, little bags of powder. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, well, I would have had uh, some fun explaining that. <laughs> Definitely. But it actually just happened once, a couple of years ago, when I ordered some embossing powder from an American shop. And I had to pack, pick that package up from the customs. Um, and they also kind of asked what that was, that um, powder. But, uh, well, obviously it came in like little um, trays. And it also said like embossing powder and then I just had to explain what to use, what I'm using it for. So what it is actually. <laughs> but this, those little uh, loose bags would have been a little more difficult to explain. Okay, so another one which is green, which is really, really beautiful. I love that idea. She made a little booklet, like it says in German, me from A to Z. 
and she kind of wrote down or wrote out all the letters of the alphabet and noted something for each letter about herself, which I really love. Such a fun idea. And another one from Ruth, which I also totally love. How can you not love it with all those cute little owls on here? And <laughs> also love this one. It's like a little pocket with a little tag in here. Really, really, really cute. And there we go again. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> So, another one, I already showed you this one in my first video, I think. This was one, one of the first, not maybe even the first one that I received. And another cute one. And last but not least, this one from Bonita, Love of Color Schemes. So, these are the pocket letters that I received so far, plus, um, oh, that was just the paper put in between for the address, um, yeah, plus like three or four, which I still have to tuck in there, but this one's already filled up pretty good, I think I have to find another binder, like a larger one, um, when I got this binder, which I think is super adorable <laughs> thank you uh, I I wasn't uh, expecting this to be that addicting and that it would I would go like crazy about that <laughs> that much <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think I will have to get another binder and this time I will try to find a, a larger one and a three ring binder because here in Germany like those two ring binders are way more common um, especially for really cute, lovely, beautiful uh, binders. So that's why I had to kind of um, hole punch some of them. Um, like our European ones, they already have um, the holes. Like they have many holes, like for the two ring binder, for the three ring binder. But um, I think some other ones, maybe the American ones, I'm not sure. Um, they only have like the punches for the three ring binder so I guess that's more common in America so I just had to re-punch them but well that wasn't a big deal actually yeah so hope you enjoyed this little video and um, yeah see you next time bye bye